all saints have a past and all sinners have a future that was saint augustine welcome to nahash on kimemi alive thank you to all my 1070 subscribers please subscribe and share these videos do not hide a light where there is darkness today i'm going to do the story of caroline mwada ochieng part 1 the african woman and the proud mommy an african woman a proud mommy a feminist a human rights defender an activist a mobilizer that is how caroline mwada described herself uh, on her twitter handle at caro joshu so we know who caro is but who is joshu joshua otieng was the husband of caroline mwada he worked in dubai he works in dubai and he works as a logistic officer the couple got married in 2005 and joshua joshua is the father of two children he was last in nairobi in august last year that was 6 months ago until he, until he came recently on a sad note So let's go to Carol because I've mentioned a Twitter handle at Carol Joshu with two U's. What does she say on uh, what does she make public? I noticed that on her Twitter handle she re- rarely tweets something personally. She mostly retweets. She has 660 followers. She follows 672 people. And it got me wondering because Carol really shares her content but she retweets the content of other people. I wonder why we have difficulty sharing content given to us by other people, especially when it is it's, it's truthful. She had no problems with that. She had no problems with following more people than people following her. From all her Twitter, from what I can see, she was all about giving and spreading as much truth as she could. So, uh this gave me an idea, right? Like somebody said Mark Twain back in the day, I like and travel halfway around the world while the truth is still putting on its foot. And this quote, right? It might give us an idea of what who Caroline Wanda was. She was the person who was trying to spread the truth as fast and as quickly as possible to push it as far as possible. But us we don't share so the lies spread quickly. And the truth moves slow, slowly. This one was a quote from 1710 from somebody called Jonathan Swift. And he said, "Falsehood lies and the truth it limps after it." Let us all be Car- like Caroline Mwatha. Let us share what we can share. Let us retweet. Let us spread the truth as much as we can. And then I also notice what does she speak of personally? Like in her tweets, when she tweets rarely, because I checked all her tweets from January. She only tweeted five times. And what did she tweet about? On January 18th, this is what she said. I wish all the crew at a certain high school all the best in school and god bless them all she gave a special shout out to her son and she wished him a happy birthday which was on that sunday that that week she also said that mommy loves you so much and she urged her son to continue working hard in school so when she tweeted she tweeted about her family she also tweeted on january 20th happy birthday my son I think now the birthday had arrived. Mommy loves you. That is what she was reminding her son. That her mother, that his mother loves him. So those were the tweets that she tweeted on. Uh yes, beginning of January. I'll mention others as we go. 